Hello, hello again, everybody. Zach Attack is here with something I haven't done in a while. I'm making a wall preview video, my wall preview for tonight, June the 9th, 2014. Probably will go down as probably one of the most, most anticipated walls in most recent history. Especially with the subtitle of this preview. And usually when I do a wall preview, whether it's a single video or on my attack sports, which I haven't done in a while, or on my other videos, I usually have top five questions or top questions that must be answered. Well, there's only two questions that need a whole lot of answering. Let's kick off with the S.H.I.E.L.D. situation. With, of course, the remaining members of the S.H.I.E.L.D., Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, but how are they going to plot their revenge on Seth Rollins? Of course, the big swerve heard round the world last week when Seth Rollins Turn down the shield by railing with that steel chair. Now, we all thought that when Batista quit, we thought this Evolution Shield feud was going to be done. You know, and then we, then we knew how big the feud had gotten and how much hype had gotten and how great the matches were. So they needed to find some way to keep that feud lit with Batista out of the picture. Boy, boy, did they find a way to keep it going with Seth Rollins turning. Like, there's been a lot of rumors flying. And I knew, like I said in my, my wall review last week, that I knew that she was going to break up. I knew there was hints and seeds planted for a shield breakup. And then was, I didn't think who was going to turn on who. Like, many people were suspecting Ambrose, but ended up being Rollins. So we'll see uh, how this feud heats up. Nice little tag team match, probably at Money in the Bank, involving Rollins and Orton. It's Irkine, Ambrose, and Reigns. Speaking of money in the bank, let's not waste any more time. It's now officially confirmed from backstage at the Target Center tonight, the home of war, that Daniel Bryan is going to be on war tonight to announce that he will have to forfeit the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. He has been checked by the doctors and he unfortunately will not be medically cleared to wrestle at money in the bank. So, of course, we all know from Wall last week, Stephanie had two options for D. Bryan. Either defend the title against Kane, if medically cleared, in a stretcher match. But since that's not happening, it's time for Plan B. Is that really that Hunter had a Plan B, having Seth Rollins turn on the shield? And now Stephanie has to go with her Plan B. And that is for D. Bryan to surrender the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and have the Money in the Bank ladder match. Instead of being for the briefcase, be for the title. Now, this adds a different element. This adds a whole lot of different scenarios. There could be a second Money in the Bank match. That's what I think they should do. To have one match for the title. And then have a second Money in the Bank match for the briefcase still. Now, we know Del Rio has qualified. Stupid. Over, of all people fucking Ziggler last week on Warp. We'll probably have more qualifying matches, and now it adds more importance now that it'll probably be really official tonight that d would have to forfeit the title, and that means the Money in the Bank match will be for the title. Instead of that briefcase, you know what I mean? And on a personal note, I love d I'm going to share an honor with him because he's had so much setbacks, and he had a big payoff, finally won the fucking championship legitimacy. Legitimately, it had to unfortunately have to sacrifice it because of his neck injury. Because his, his big fast paced speed that finally took its toll on his, on his body and he had to give up the title, it sucks. You know, I hope that he comes back and doesn't get screwed over again. That's what I'm hoping for is that when he comes back, he gets a fair shake and gets another chance to be champ again. That is, if the fans still want him to be champ, if he's still getting the big pops when he comes back. When you're, when you're gone for too long, people seem to forget you. But if you come back to a big pop, you may get another shot. Here is my top five people I would love to see in the Money in the Bank match. Now that, especially now it's for the title. Cesaro. May need a little bit more, more pushing. And get rid of Heyman. Or at least tell Heyman, shut up about Brock Lesnar. Promote me. Fucking don't promote Lesnar. Two. Stand out. As you've been, if you've been seeing my wall reviews lately, I've been really bitching about Sandow being going from a future world champion to being a guy who might be future endeavored. 
So I hope he gets in the match. Somehow. It doesn't end up being a fucking joke. Uh, Ziggler. Yes, he lost against Del Rio, but I hope he gets another shot to be in the match. And win. And get in the match. Uh, two of the people I would love to see in the ladder match. For the title. Money to make wise. Uh... This is a tough one. To fill in the blanks with two more people. Uh, Ray Barrett. I know he's IC champion right now, but I'd love him to be involved somehow in the matchup. And fifth guy to be who I would love to see in the match for the title. Uh, maybe Kane? Because Kane got screwed out of a title match. Because he was supposed to fight Divine. So I think he'll be inserted. I don't think Kane may have to qualify. I would not be surprised if Stephanie just lets him in the match because he was supposed to fight D-Bye for the title. Now that d is not able to fight, Kane's got to have another opportunity for the title. So what better way to insert him in the ladder match? So we'll see what goes down with the Shield. And of course, who will be added to the no Money in the Bank ladder match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship tonight on War 87 Central on USA Network. That is it for my wall preview. See you tonight for my wall review. With that in mind, y'all been attacked by the preview from Zach. Thank you very much. See you later. Yeah.